Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Rant and Chill. On this channel, I like to rant and I like to chill. You're going to be chilling, going to be talking about Nimifilla's Life, which is a fantastic song. It's one of my favorites. We'll talk about the lyrics of the song, what it means to us as fans. If you like this sort of thing, make sure you press the like button, share it, and subscribe. I do this with a few bands. Um, all right, man. Uh, let's go put this on the screen here. Let's put the, we got the lyrics here. Oh. Oh, you're not supposed to see that. Uh, hold on. Um, to pretend like you didn't see that. I should probably take that out. I, I should probably take that out. <clears throat> Setting that aside. You know what? Actually, let, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's lose the hat. Jades. <clears throat> Make sure I got rid of my messages here. Two. Don't want that to leak out. That's so sloppy of me. But yes, Nimbophila is one of my favorite bands, and one of their songs that really stands out is Life. It is a really good ballad. Um, the way it sounds is just so bright, so optimistic. I would describe it that. It's just so good. It's so good. It just oozes, oozes, radiates with positivity. It shines. It shines brightly, right? It's just a bright light shining in the dark tunnel. That is your life. That is the song Life. That is... Um, that's how I would describe it. I mean, I don't know how you would, but it, it just sounds one just the melody alone without getting into the lyrics. I know we have the lyrics here on the screen, but without even knowing what Mayu is singing, it the, the melody itself sounds very bright in tone. It sounds like it's very, uh, mm, I should say, there's some retrospection there on, on of life, one's life, maybe her life or someone else's life. I'm not sure, but it's there's a lot of... Uh, uh, celebrating and the fact that uh, she's made it so far and um, just uh, really appreciating all she has done and, and knowing that it's more than just wishes, n knowing more that it, it, knowing that it's more than just living on a wish, living on a prayer, you know, just hoping something will come. No, it was a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work and dedication, a lot of just pushing forward, pushing onward when, you know, obstacle after obstacle, hurdle after hurdle is just in her way. You know, trying to block her, you know, and that's something we could all I'm sure we can all uh, r relate to in some way. Right. I mean, what are some things that you have really wanted to do in your life and you just hadn't really got there? Right. Or what are something that you did in your life that like it, you did, but it took a lot of sacrifice. It took a lot of work. It, it, like you can't just we can't just live on wishes and prayers. Right. We can't just live on wishes on uh, shooting stars and hope that um, our, our, our wishes, our dreams will come true, right? We have to actually put in something into it. You have to put in the work. Now, some of us may say, myself included, will may say, well, there's others that kind of get by on luck. And boy, that does seem to happen, right? But for a lot of us, it doesn't seem that way. <laughs> you know, that's a, a, another topic, but... I think this song is very much, um, um, you know, I should say, it just highlights, uh, it's respectful about life, I should say. It, there's a lot of respect towards life. Uh, let me, let's go ahead and go over the lyrics, though. Okay. So, remember, now, here's the thing. Of course, it's translated from Japanese, so what you get with that is that the rhyme is off, um... It may not even be exactly right. In fact, it's probably not exact. It's probably something may be missed. Uh, you're kind of hoping for the best, you know? Um, but yeah, the rhyme is going to be off. So if it sounds like it may be kind of off, that's just because you know, obviously she sings in Japanese. But I'm based on this translation here, and it's done by uh, uh, this translator, Black Moon 1984. Hopefully they did a good job. Hopefully they find this video, and I'll, on, you know? Uh, shout out to them for making it possible. I like the cat. Look at that. So remember the limitlessness of such a strong child. Never forget the pieces that made you what you are today. Now that means a lot, doesn't it? On on the surface, it's very little. It's just a, a handful of words that, okay. But remember the limitlessness of such a strong child of you. Of you, right? When you were a child, maybe you were blessed. Maybe um, you were brought in, 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 a, in a good family. I, when I say good, I mean uh, a loving mother, loving father, loving parents, I should say. Loving parents. 
that gave you the foundation, gave you the support you needed. That, and it, that's what it sounds like what's happening here. Remember the limitlessness of such a strong child. Never forget the pieces that made you what you are today. The pieces. Now, hold on. It doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be uh, loving uh, parents or uh, that sort of foundation there. It could be something else, too. I mean, never forget the pieces that made you are today. It could be, um, obviously, parents that show that love and have that impression, leave the impact on her and uh, are on you and uh, give you, uh, I guess, a, a, a strong foundation. Or it could be. The word pieces that made you what you are today could imply fragmentation, could apply um, some hard um, turmoil in a, a younger life, a, a childhood. So a childhood with a lot of turmoil, a lot of stress, a lot of issues that through those trials, through those issues have, have made her or him stronger. Could be, could be. I mean, I want to go with. Uh, remember the limitlessness of such a strong child. I, I want to say it is Mayu or whatever co character Mayu is singing as, you know, whatever is, uh, you know, the perspective that that she's taking in, in the song. I want to say it is her looking back at her as a, as a child um, born and um, feeling that that was a very blessed moment. You know, you, th you think in this, this can have this could lead to an argument or a discussion that we don't need to have here in this channel. But you think that just think like the life you live could have just not, not have happened if there was something that would have happened even from the very beginning of uh, quite after conception, you know, maybe something happened. Maybe there was a miscarriage or maybe, um, you know, your, your mother made a decision or something, something God forbid, or, you know, whatever you believe in, Something happened, and it's just, you would just never be. You, you would just never be. And that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary to think about. Um, it's heavy. The song is heavy. The song has a lot of heaviness. The song sounds... Uh, I want to say the song sounds light and melody, but it does. But when Mayu sings, like, you you get... Oh, man, the way she stresses uh, certain certain phrases... Like, you get the heaviness of the song. That is really good. We're not even that far in the song, and already I'm feeling the, uh, the weight of this one. Okay. All right, guys. Just remember, be, be, res be respectful in comments and all that. Uh, broken by the hands of others, uh, the future of those faded goals, too, was a continuation of that. Okay, so this is where the rhyme is seems a little weird. Okay. So broken by the hands of others, broken. So you were strong, you were made whole through something, uh, you know, when you were born, I suppose, early on, but broken by the hands of others. So through interaction with others, through experience with other people, uh, you've become jaded, maybe? You've had some bad experiences that were really to kind of define you, right? What are we but just uh, living on, um, I mean, what are we other than, well, I mean, that's a weird a weird statement, but it could be said, I mean, sure, um, that our lives are really defined by, well, the way we define our interaction with others, right? Um, who are those that make up in your life, like your friends, your family, and what have they done for you, or have they impacted your life in any sort of way, and how different would your life be if they didn't? Um, now broken though, broken by the hands of others, uh, implies obviously that, well, there was some damage done that she's done not whole. You want to be made whole. You don't want to be broken. If you don't mind that belch, these are done in one take. Uh, I like it that way. It's more natural. It's more flow. Some people may not. They may want the jump cuts and stuff like that. It, that's just not my style, man. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. It's sort of something you put on the background, you know? Uh, okay. So, so broken by the hand of others, uh, the future of those faded goals, 
two was a continuation of that. This is where it's like, okay, that that's a little rough. Of the future of those faded goals. So, with your experience with those other individuals, other people uh, that you've met in your life, you had many goals, and they just didn't go through. They just did not. There was no follow through. For, for various reasons. Maybe you were set back. Maybe something was denied from you. Maybe you were told that you can't do something. That it's not possible. Uh, okay. Now it's set in motion. My life. I turn back on the rugged footprints that led here. I smile a thank you. I live on strongly. With my head held high. Okay. So... This, I see, and you probably see this too. Let me know in the comment section for sure. Is Mayu looking back at, um, th yeah, um, all th her experiences in life and everything that's led her up to that particular moment, looking back at it, looking back at the hardships, looking back at uh, whatever turmoil there was, uh, the situations and what have you, and looking back at it and wanting to build off of that, thinking that it, it actually helped define her. It helped give her strength. So, um, and you take with that the experience that will hopefully lead you down a, uh, a, a another path, the path you want to you, you want to take control of your life, and live live on strongly with my head held high. Okay, well, okay, keeping keeping our, our side, ourselves focused uh, on what we want to do, not trying to be. Uh, persuaded by the negativity of others or whatever. So it goes on. Even if you mess up, it's okay unless you go back to zero again. So accidents are going to happen. There's going to be setbacks. There are going to be times where you are going to make mistakes. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't let it take you all the way back to nothing, okay? Don't go that far, okay? Don't dwell on your failures and your losses to the point to where you uh, gaslight yourself into thinking that you are lesser than what you are. Know that you are better than that, okay? You know your worth. You've been there before. You know what you've done before. You know what you can achieve. Don't be silly about it. Don't be silly about a mistake. I know you've had that experience. I've had that experience. We've all had that experience, right? Where you make a mistake and sometimes it's like, it's like you, you forget all the good things you've done. You forget all the, the, the great things that you, you've accomplished, and it's like, don't don't throw it all away just because you had a bad hand, okay, a bad moment. You made a mistake. People make mistakes. You learn from it, and it goes on. Even if you get hurt, forward, forward, forward. Push on through now. Even if you get hurt, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt in life, but you have to keep on pushing. You have to keep on going. Because, because what is it? You want to go to zero? That, now, I'm taking that. Being that this song is about life, I'm taking that to a to a uh, dark extreme. Uh, mm. <clears throat> there's something weird with this microphone. I notice every time I talk, there's like something in the background. You hear it? No, not the music. It's like this weird thing that happens. Anyway, all the wishes made upon a star, no one ever answered them. I'm only here now because kept on stubbornly blooming. Now, it's it's a little little janky, but I got it. I think I got it. And I think, you know, I don't know how, how authentic or um, that's not the word. Um, I'm not sure of the quality of the translation because I don't speak Japanese. I don't read Japanese, so I couldn't, I couldn't second guess. I'm, I'm guessing uh, the translator did, did a decent job. I do thank him for it. But all the wishes made upon a star, no one ever answered them, right? You could pray, you could pray, you could pray. If whether you believe in God or not, whatever, you could pray, you pray, you pray, right? But are you going to get an answer? Do you get an answer? Like, what What does it look like? What does it sound like? Does it? Did you ever get anything done in your life without you actually taking initiative, making steps, making certain calls, getting things done? Or do you... Do you really just wish and pray, wish and pray, wish and pray, and it, and it just just happened for you? I, 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 it would actually be kind of comforting to live a life like that in a way, 
you'd be on autopilot. You wouldn't have to do anything. You just, man, I just make, I just ask for things and it's done. Actually, second thought, it sounds kind of, uh, sounds kind of boring. And I like here, I'm only here because I kept stubbornly blooming. I kept, I kept stubbornly blooming. I kept blooming. You know, and with Nemophila's songs, there's a lot of references to blooming. Even the name Nemophila being a flower. Blooming. Blooming. You keep growing. You keep growing despite everyone around you saying you can't. Trying to hold you down. Your environment might be uh, harsh, even toxic. Yet you, you, defy, you defy it and you bloom still. That's a that's a pretty bold statement there. Standing tall even in, in the downpours, so not even rain can bother you. Uh, and rain, obviously, uh, of course, is a metaphor. Obviously, uh, that's all one allegory here. If you keep on fighting, your dream will become a wall you can scale. Now, I like this. If you keep on fighting, your dream will become a wall you can scale. You gotta fight in life. You got to fight for what you want. For your, for your towards your goals, it's not gonna come easy, and you keep on fighting. Guess what? You're gonna, you will eventually be able to achieve that dream. You you will eventually be able to, uh, but you're gonna have to scale that wall though. It's not gonna come easy. Now speed up and take off, reaching out in front of me, from the point forward, the love we slowly fostered, is something still hold onto strongly and tightly now speed up and take off reach out in front of me from the point forward the love slowly fostered is something still hold strongly tightly this one this one not gonna lie I'm not sure you uh, what do I see with this hmm okay okay messy uh, the way Mayu sings it here think of that is just boldly saying that like Hmm. I just, I should say, just encouraging you to go even harder. Encouraging you to, I mean, she already encouraged you to, to, to you know, to, to pursue your dreams and, and to and don't let those, uh, don't let others hold you down and try to stop you. That that you can't just wish and pray and hope things will happen. You have to make, you have to take some moves. You have to make some steps. You have to push onward. But here, you've you've done it. You've done it. And when you reach that point, when you're in the moment and you feel it and you are working to, on towards your goal, whatever that is in life, you know, uh, don't forget to reach out for those. Or she's saying her. So um, I don't know, you know, those that uh, aspire you, those that pushed you forward, those that cheerleaded you on throughout life. Don't forget to reach out back to them and have a have a love that's that's fostered there. So friendship, you know, keep 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 those that encourage you to do better. Keep those that encourage you in life around you because it's good. I mean, okay, I get that. And you know what? The reason why it was kind of hard for me to get that is because I'm kind of a lone wolf. I've mentioned that several times. I'm kind of I have some friends, but the friends I have, I really have. Uh, not everyone. Uh, it just is. It just is what it is, man. I, uh, I don't know. Like friendships, they. Um, it, it it takes a while for me to really trust somebody, you know. I'll, I'll have a small talk with someone, but are they really a friend or whatever? But I'm saying that's not a good thing, though. Probably not. Because it makes one guarded. It makes I'm guarded. I'm a very guarded person. Some could say I'm closed off from the world. That would be true. It's kind of lonely. 
So, so I really should take take her advice here. Take my use advice. Even if you miss something, you're you'll just note your mistakes in red, even if it hurts. Onward, onward, onward. Walk with your head held up high. Yeah. Repeating the message of this song. It's echoes here, doesn't it? The look, you're gonna make mistakes. And I love how like the song it doesn't just copy paste like with the verse of the chorus. It's like there are some things that are kind of echoed, you know, some things that are repeated, but it's like, look, we'll, we'll tell you another way. Like, yeah, you're gonna make mistakes, but just note them, just keep track of them. Not, not, not to the point to where you're gonna uh, burden yourself. Like, like you're, uh, like, don't be your harsh enemy to the point to your your worst enemy to the point to where you're crippling yourself by keeping track of all your mistakes. You know what I'm saying there, like. Obviously, remember how you messed up at times and, and kind of build off of that. You know, learn learn what happened. Even if it hurts, there's going to be pain. But you keep pushing. You keep pushing. Life, there is pain in life. There's good things in life, too. There's love in life. And there's pain. The alternative is just nothingness. I mean, you know. Onward, onward, onward. Walk with your head held up high. We are the ones who make the present shine. Oh, that that's good. That's a powerful statement there. And it's true, but at the same time, there's a lot of we. There's a lot of us, right? There's a lot of us in the present, in the moment. And we're all doing our own thing. Uh, or some groups are doing certain things. May conflict with others. Now they're doing it to shine in their own way. What that mean? What whatever that means to them, and it, that may conflict with others, but it is true. We are the ones who make the present shine. Uh, those shine could mean uh, could be done in different ways. You know, it could be uh, an etched a moment into my heart. Now, of course, we are the ones to make the presence shine. I think she's referring to looking at this. I'm thinking she's singing about someone close to her who had a kind of maybe a rough childhood, but she was a very strong child, very bold. And they had many mistakes. Many issues have happened. None of, you know, some not their fault. Some just happenstance some environmental some you know because of what others have done to them you know but um they've had she's had to encourage her and, and pretty much be her her uh i want to say like counselor or whatever just ah, that's so lame um just be the one to really console you know and really give support there that's what i see in the song it, it may not even be right you know I don't know. I would love to one day be able to pick Mayu's brain on this song. Be like, or whoever wrote it. I'm not sure who who wrote. Uh, does it give us the? It just says name of the artist. If someone knows who wrote this song, I'm very curious. It, it's good. It's really good. It's really good. It's very powerful. But I think here in this part, we are the ones who make the present shine. And it's just a moment into the heart. Into my heart. I think she's singing about the other person and the we being the group, uh, the other person or her. And um, in the moment, whatever, whatever they're trying to do, whatever this they're trying to go for, uh, they're just going to continue it. So maybe the band, maybe a band here. Uh, maybe there's a band member that's having some, you know, uh, struggling with some hurdles or whatever, uh, some self doubt or whatever, make, you know, make mistakes or whatever. It's just, uh, just encouraging that member to push forward, push forward, and to maybe even push forward in life. Maybe, maybe, maybe the failures have become so, uh, so uh, surmountable that uh, is that the word I'm looking for? No, I don't think so. But maybe, maybe the failures become so uh, egregious or so noteworthy. I should. Hmm. Sorry, uh, the, the source is not working right now. That uh, w w the point I'm saying here is 
maybe the failures have got reached a point to where they have to have even considered, uh, you know, self uh, deletion, so to speak. Um, and uh, they have that, you know, encouraged them to to walk that back and to to live. Uh, maybe you, you could go that far with the song, obviously, from the title and the, the message in it. You could take it that far. I'm not sure if it, if, it, if it's intended to go that far, that dark, but it could. There, We're almost done. Um, I don't like the way I phrased that there because it's not like done, done. It's, But I want to stress something. We'll get there. Huh? If look upon, we could see the clear blue sky and feel it. Echo, 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 far away into the distance. Into the distance. Onward, 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 leading to my life, to her life, to her life. Maybe this is Mayu's song. Maybe Mayu wrote this song. I don't know who wrote this song. And it's kind of bothering me now. Hmm. That is interesting thing. I will say, the way Mayu sings this, it's really stressed. There's a yearning almost for someone, for this person who they're singing about to... To just continue pushing forward. Don't give up. Don't give up. There's a lot of love in this song. There's a lot of love in this song of just, you know, you know that feeling what I'm trying to say? It, like, you, you might know someone in your life who you love and cherish, but they're, um, they just see themselves as, as an utter failure. They just are, um, I don't know, they just feel the weight of, of all the, hardships that they've been through the turmoil in their past the stress in their past and and the, and the, the mistakes around them they, they feel like they can't do anything and and you you try to help them as much as you can and maybe 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 there's some resistance there maybe they're pushing you pushing you know giving giving you some pushback and it's it's like you, you don't want to see them um fail because you've seen them succeed and you've seen what it looks like you've seen you, and you know what they have what their potential is oh my this is getting emotional guys mm. but uh you, you've seen them at their best so you want them to push forward this mm, this is good this, this is a phenomenal song for the first time I actually took a look at, look at the lyrics here and um Wow, I see it in another way here. I really do. I uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this this dive into life by Nimifila. In the comments section, let me know what the song means to you. Let me know what you think, what your interpretation of, of the lyrics are. It's 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 poetry, guys. It's poetry, so it's going to we may take different meanings from it. And there's some certain phrases here that may not actually be very literal, be more um, metaphorical, you know. And of course, too, the being translated, there's always that maybe the, um, the word it, it closely translates to may not really fit it, you know. There's some things get lost. Uh, and I will say, I'll wrap this up here. Shout out to Black Moon 1984. I have no idea who you are. I guess you were born in 1984. I'm guessing, <laughs> you know. Uh, all right. Well, thank you for the translation there. And uh, yeah, it was good. All right. This is cool. You guys take it easy and have a good one.